Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about the new highlighter released by Huda Beauty. They have an all over powder body highlight now. I did review the liquid highlights from Huda a while back when those released, but now she released a huge highlighter and a huge body highlighter brush. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. I do have a couple honorable mentions from Huda Beauty that I never did dedicated videos on that I can talk about as well. But if you guys are interested in hearing my thoughts, you want to see it so watched and see me try it on then just keep on watching wait until you guys see this thing it is huge so the highlighter is $55 the brush is $40 so it says it's in the shade flora I think it's only available in one shade right now but maybe that means she's gonna release more shades I'm honestly not sure but it is so massive let's see how many grams of product are in here it's 30 grams. Let me look at a traditional highlight and let you know how much is in a traditional highlighter. Okay, so this huge highlight has 30 grams or 1.05 ounces. A traditional highlighter like Champagne Pop has 8 grams and 0.28 ounces. So you are getting way more product in this highlight, which is why I'm guessing the price is so high. Now this thing is stunning. I did pop it open to swatch and take pictures of for Instagram. So I do already have some thoughts on this. It's freaking huge. It has a nice like floral stamp in it. It's very intricate. It has a huge mirror. It's such a beautiful item just to have in your collection. But most importantly, my question in this video that I wanna answer for you guys is, is it pigmented? Is it a good product overall? And that's what I'm gonna answer for you guys. So I'm trying not to flash you guys too much boob in this video. I wanted to wear something low cut so that I could put this on my chest and use it as a body highlight. So please excuse my boobs and I don't have the right strapless bra on right now. So it's a hot mess. So when I first saw pictures of this highlight drop, my first thought, because I didn't really see swatches that I liked, was that this was not going to be very pigmented and that it was gonna be kind of dry feeling when you swatch it. Sometimes when there's an overly intricate stamp in the product, it's pressed too hard. And when a product is pressed too hard, I'll give you an example. Those old e.l.f. highlighters, the baked dome highlighters, they were pressed so hard you literally could not pick up any product off of them. So I was worried by swatches that I saw that this was not gonna be creamy, it was not gonna be soft, and it was not going to have a lot of pigment but I was wrong <laughs> I swatched this for my Instagram and it's very soft very pigmented and I think what I was seeing was just a very sheared out swatch because this can absolutely be blinding and I'm going to test it out today and see if it can be used on my cheekbones so I'm going to swatch it for you guys I'm just going to run my fingers over the flower just in a little gentle circular motion and here is what it looks like. So it's like a deeper gold than Champagne Pop. It's not very light, but it's going to give you that beautiful kind of wet look to your skin. It does have some glitter particles in it. So my thinking is that Huda wanted to pick a color that would look good on any skin tone. Now I do think if you are the fairest of fair, this might be too dark for you because it is kind of a deeper gold. But on my tan skin, I tried it on my forearm and oh my goodness, it was the perfect color. And I think it's going to look beautiful on deeper skin tones too, which I think is really important. So I just realized I haven't shown you the brush. So this says it's a face and body brush. I love the packaging. I don't know why this kind of packaging makes me feel like I'm opening like a gift. Um, so I like it. I love a big fluffy brush. I want to try this with powder. I want to try it with bronzer. And of course, I'm going to use it for body highlight. But I'm just such a big fan of a big fluffy soft brush. I'm a sucker for it. But it feels nice and heavy. It's very soft. It has the clear handle with Huda Beauty on it. And on the back, it says face and body all over highlight. What is their body glow brush called? I can't think of it right now. Blur and glow? glow and buff i have no idea the weird shaped brush is my favorite for like a liquid highlight i still use it all the time i know that makeup revolution duped that brush so i wonder if makeup revolution is going to try to dupe this brush too but basically what i'm trying to say is that i've had good experiences with huda beauty brushes in the past so i think i'm gonna like this it's really nice and heavy and sturdy obviously 40 dollars is a lot for a brush but if you do use body highlight all the time then you might need this in your collection also if you're like me and you kind of have like a bigger face what a nice brush for powder but anyways i want to cut to the chase i want to swirl into this and i want to apply it to my body we will start with a shoulder and see how it goes 
feel like my lashes look so weird. It's been so long since I filmed. I just feel like I'm starting from scratch all over again. So I'm going to dip into the powder, see how this picks up with the brush. And to answer a potential question, so far this doesn't look like it's an overspray. It looks like it's a through and through highlighter product, which I appreciate a lot. I hate oversprays. All right, so we're going to crush this weird angle and we're going to highlight my shoulder. Instantly, it looks so wet and natural looking. It doesn't look like a fake streaky highlight, which I really, really like. Guys, I think I'm going to like this a lot too because sometimes body highlight can just be annoying to put on when it's a liquid just because you don't want to be sticky and uncomfortable, especially if you are not really having a summer day. You're having like an indoor winter day or whatever. Like you don't always want to be greasy and sticky. Guys, it's such a nice color. Like it's very natural looking. It doesn't look streaky. I don't have to blend it at all. Let's do a little arm demo. Ooh, very soft, very shimmery. All right, so before I move on to honorable mentions from Huda Beauty that I wanted to share with you guys, let's try this on my cheekbones because that's my question. Can this be used also on the face and still look nice, potentially blinding? Let's find out. So I'm going to take the Morphe R36. It's like crumbling. The letters are crumbling off of this brush. I've been using it so long, but I'm going to use this to highlight my cheekbone. We're going to do the same thing. Just dip right into the flower, which I've ruined already which is really sad. Um, I'm just gonna dip in here and let's see how it looks. Wow, so it's definitely multi-use. It's stunning, it can be blinding, it's quite blinding on that cheek, but it's also very natural looking and it looks like the glass skin effect. So I realized I didn't wear highlight for this video obviously because I wanted to put it on and that's what I was missing the entire time. I kept looking at myself like, hmm, I don't look the same and it's my weird lashes and my lack of highlight so I'm glad to have this on. So I like this. If you have the extra coin for this product and you are in the market for a body highlight, I think you're going to like this, especially because you can wear it on your face as well. So I hope that answers any potential questions that you might have had on these new releases. I'm not sure if it's going to be available at Sephora. Right now, the info that I have says it's exclusive to Huda Beauty, but it could definitely move over to Sephora eventually. But the two honorable mentions I want to talk about because I never did a dedicated video on them are the new Glow Cocoa Hydrating Mist and the Silk Balm. So the Silk Balm is what I'm wearing on my lips today. I've been carrying this around with me pretty much everywhere I go for the past couple weeks because it's the most effortless gloss balm that I've ever worn. It doesn't really have a lot of color to it, but for me, it kind of gives me the perfect your lips but better hydrated lip look, basically. If you guys like how my lips look right now, it's because of this balm. I like that when you first apply it, it's a little more glossy, but then it kind of goes down down to kind of a natural looking lip. It's definitely interesting because it's not a gloss and it's also not a balm. It's like somewhere perfectly in the middle. So I've been liking this a lot. I definitely think this is worth the grab if you guys are interested in a product like this, especially because you don't have to even have makeup on to wear this. It's really a good hydrating balm on its own. And then I wanted to mention the Huda Beauty Glow Cocoa Hydrating Mist because it is the finest mist in a non-continuous bottle that I've ever tried. So the most fine mist I've ever tried was the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. But this is very, very, very fine, but it's not continuous. So I like that because you're not wasting a ton of product that you don't need, but you're still getting that really, really fine cloud of mist. And it's very hydrating. It has a very faint coconut scent to it, which you guys know I'm a sucker for anything coconut. So I had to give this a quick mention too because I've really been loving it. And I've been using it pretty much every day that I've been like on a break from YouTube. So I wanted to let you guys know it's really good as well. Um, none of this is sponsored. I am on Huda Beauty PR, but I would tell you if it sucked. I have told you in the past when things have sucked. But I absolutely loved the body highlighter. I'm going to be using it for the rest of the summer, potentially in the winter if I'm feeling it, because summer sucks right now with the virus. We need to redo this entire year next year. Um, but yeah, I'm going on a tangent. 
I hope that you guys found this video to be helpful and that you liked it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. It helps me a ton and subscribe to my channel if you are new. And if you haven't already, please follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and TikTok if you use any of those platforms. I'm everywhere at Kendall Alfred. It's all the same and I would love to have you over on the other platforms, especially during times like this when I'm kind of like Mm, feeling meh about posting on YouTube. I love you guys. Thank you for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.